very, very, very festive. It's festive as if light has returned every single year in the country. Welcome back to Sunrise. It's now time to link up with our girl, but it's not a normal link up because Watch this right now. I'm going to just step <laughs> over to my girl, <laughs> <laughs> TK. Courtesy of the Krispy Kreme. Yes, yes, yes. And that's the headline. Yes. Krispy <laughs> Kreme for the Teaksters. Oh. Hey, look. That's hey. so pretty. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's nice, Mama. Yeah, nice. Very, very nice. That's so pretty. Oh, I think I'm going to have this all for myself. Mm. No, the gains, the gains. Yeah. 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 Share is care is yeah. share. We yeah. remember the marketing team, sales team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can't sell them one at the donut them. Mm -hmm. My start sell them, yeah. yeah. They're five bills a one. Hey. Yeah, five bills a one. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. That's Krispy Kreme. Yes. Appreciate that. All right, hold on. I have a, I have a gift this morning, you know, so I have okay. to move it. We're going to move it, move it. Great morning. Let's talk about what's happening in the headlines. Frontier and other airlines were at a standstill for hours after a massive Microsoft outage. According to CNN, all flights from several major U.S. airlines, including Delta, United, mm -hmm. American Airlines, they were grounded this morning due to a communication issue. Mm -hmm. According to the Federal Aviation Administration, though American later said it had resolved the issue affecting its operations. Their grounding comes after a significant Microsoft outage brought Frontier Airlines and some of its competitors to a standstill for hours yesterday. Though the ground stop for those airlines has since been lifted, Frontier said its systems had been impacted by the outage and offered refunds to inconvenience passengers. Wow. Whoa, whoa. You see, with technological advancement, you see a glitch, a Microsoft yeah. glitch. Yeah. You see, um, with the advent of AI, yes. there are so many good things to report about AI. But also, mm -hmm. we have to be mindful that there are times when the AI, artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. gents, will not go according mm -hmm. to what we expect it to, to do in our natural intelligence. And that is frightening. Yes, yes. Because, you know, it's not like you're on the ground and you can stop. When you're in the air. Fair. There you go, IT. You know, very, very me, so um, I, I, disconcerting. I, I, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and it just again gives rise to you think about AI yes. and how yes, it has brought, as you said, a lot of good. Yes. But because it is so vast, because it is still so misunderstood in a lot of ways, and still being developed, and still being developed you know, I won't have slipped between the cup and the lip. But I'm just very happy. I, as I say, I prefer for the airplane to be on the ground yes, and we're sorting yes. out the issues yes. than we're in the air absolutely. and they tell me that there is an issue. Yes, so sometimes absolutely. now is when you know flights delay and I know it can be an inconvenience because you have your time to you know go do your thing but me just prefer me save up on the ground yes. me go on with absolutely, right here so absolutely, yeah absolutely 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 you know what I mean all so, right that's good news and now it's feel good Friday time speaking of good news and first it was just me then so Fraser McConnell races mm. to the finish line. Jamaican mm. professional motorsport race driver Fraser McConnell mm. and driving partner Leo Sense delivered a spectacular performance yeah. at the Hydra X3, securing a hotly contested second place finish in Dumfries and Galloway, Scotland during wow. round four mm. of Extreme E on July 14. Mm. This hot. achievement followed their impressive second place finish during the qualifying round on Saturday. He joins us this morning at the headline desk to tell us all about the journey to the finish line. Welcome to Sunrise, Fraser. Morning, morning. Thank you for having me. <laughs> yes, yes. I, I don't know what it feels like to move at that speed. But I certainly don't know what it feels like to accomplish the, 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 the achievement that we're celebrating this morning. So there's two different experiences, two different sets of feelings. Share with us because I want to hear. <laughs> oh boy, I mean, so you know, as a race car driver, you always have to be prepared for anything, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, everything is coming at you so fast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to make decisions in a split second. You, you know, you can try and make a plan A, B, C for yeah. the race, and you know, most times none of that happens. Mm -hmm. So you just have to be on, you know, quick thinking on your feet. And what's special about Extreme E now is that it's every team has one male and one female. Oh, okay. okay. So, you know, they're big on promoting gender, and e gender equality. equality. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Um, and we have, we're required that the male does 50% of the race and the female does 50%. 50%. Right. Nice. So, you know, you're really depending on your teammate to go out there and, you know, give it their everything. And mm -hmm. it's actually more stressful to be 
on the side watching. Yes, yes. Then, yes, you, know, yes. you, you, yeah, you know, you know, I, I do my I do my part and I give her the car and I say, all right, well. Your turn. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you go about choosing your driving partner? Yeah. Uh, I don't choose. So the team that okay. I drive for, um, I see on the science extreme. Me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, they selected. Well, she's been their female driver for. This is her fourth season now. Mm -hmm. Um, and this is my first season with them. Last year yes. I was with. Lewis, Hamilton, Lewis Hamilton's team, X44, yes. uh, yeah. and this year with Carlos Sainz. And, um, is it true? Awesome. I heard the difference between the winner and you is, is 0 0.65 seconds, something like that? Yeah, man, very, very close. Yeah, oh. Oh. That's, <laughs> a wow. that's a tie. That's a tie. Yeah. That's a tie. That, you, you can't even blink. You can't even blink. Yeah. That's not even a wow. second. Wow. Tell me something, Fraser. How do you train for this? Like, how do you prepare for this? There's athlete, There's an athletic side, mm -hmm. there's just a straight track side. Mm -hmm. How do you do it? Well, you have, to, you have to be mentally sharp, so, you mental know, a lot of mental sharp. training. Yes. Um, physical training to, you know, be fit in the car, but also that helps with the mental side as well. Mm. Okay. You know, I have to be, you know, p people probably wouldn't think it, but it's very tiring driving a car. You know, mm. you, it's, it's exhausting, you know, the, the stress that comes with it. Yes. You have a the lot of G-forces work. working uh, yeah. against you inside the car. You know, you're getting thrown around inside. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, when you get tired, you can lose your mental focus and you can't afford to have, you know, any laps in Lapse. you know reaction time or yes. any any kind of um any kind of tiredness in the car so yes. Yes. Yeah. you know That's being fit shot. and then you know i'll go out to palisades and do some go-karting before and mm -hmm. you know anything that keeps you this yes um high speed mm. up to up to scratch mm -hmm. is, is helping what's the ultimate for you what what is your ultimate trophy the ultimate trophy you want to lift for yourself and for your country I definitely want to be a world champion at, uh, at some point. You know, the series that I'm racing now, Extreme E, is going to um, hydrogen next year. So this year it's electric, so it's Extreme E. And then next year it's going to be Extreme H. Um, H. What's, what's the H? Hydrogen. Hydrogen. Mm. Oh. So it's going to be the first hydrogen powered uh, motorsport like series. Like, you know, the car goes up. Like, you know, the car goes up. Like, you know, the car goes up. Nitro boost. Yeah, nitro boost. Like nitro. Lift off. So how is it? You said electric. So it's an electric car? Correct. So how is it? Okay, so we I know about the pit, right? So, you know, the tire change and mm. all of that stuff and the revving and the changing. How, how is that different from what we know as, you know, cars mm. to versus an electric car? So my races don't go so long that I need to do a tire change. Okay, very um, well. You know, for Formula One, for example, you'll see the cars come in and change yeah. tires two or three times for the race. Yes. Um, but my race is, is no more than 10 minutes. Okay, so, well. You know, if we were to stop for a tire change, it would be, it would be last. Yeah. 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 Everybody, yeah. everybody gone about their business. Yeah. So let's say somebody sees you and they would love to do what you do. How would you, especially let's say some, a young person, mm. um, what would you advise them in terms of whether it's steps or just advice for somebody? Go kart, like for sure. You have to start with go kart. Yeah. Mm. I mean, it's the building blocks, it's the grassroots of all motorsport. You know, any, any top driver that you speak to, I'm sure that 95% of them would say that they started with go karting. Um, out at Palisades, Palisades uh, in Kingston, you know, it's mm -hmm. an awesome facility. Uh, there's, there's tons of people who have a program, you know, a drive and drive kind of situation mm -hmm. where you can, you know, even you don't need to buy the car, you can go out there, rent it, mm -hmm. um, try it, test it out, have some fun. Um, even for people who aren't trying to pursue a racing career, mm -hmm. it's good practice for, you know, better driving on the road. So how do you feel? Are you ready for Olympics? You're looking forward to it? Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you looking forward to in Olympics? Absolutely. What can't you miss for the Olympics? Well, I, nobody can miss the tracks. The, yes. the, 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 yes. the, the, the yes. 200, 100. Where we germinate. Yes. 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 Nobody yes. can miss that. Mm -hmm. yeah. nice. I love it. Well, thank nice. you so much. And all the best with your journey. All the best with everything that you have moving forward. And yeah. Come pick me up one day, man. We'll follow yeah. you on the yeah. road. Yeah. No, no, not <laughs> you. 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 Yeah, we'll follow. I'll drive behind Fraser. And I'll say, Fraser, big up yourself, my G, big up, yeah. yeah. And when you come back, no, I'll man. see you, me. Where are you? Fraser, 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 Nitro. I got him, but me just pack up with a port rail and wait till him come back. I say, all right, my dad. Yeah, man, my dad right there, so I go and chill out, you know? Just link money and forward me, you know? Yeah, when you forward me, yeah, me. Me, the way me Listen, on the other side of this break, it's time for the R to the E to the A. To the in the KRCT. And they still know right now. Let me let me let the G force. So stick and stay for more sunrise after this break. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, uh.